Hey, what's up, Movie Lifers? We're back, and the next movie we're gonna be getting into is Revolutionary Road, Leonardo DiCaprio. And um, what's the other chick? The, the, the Titanic chick. Uh, Kate Winslet. Winslet? Kate, Win Kate Winslet. Winslet. First time they've been together since. Titanic, since, since they Titanic. made the highest grossing, biggest movie of all time. Ever. What do you think? I guess I kind of like it. Won't you miss the city? Nothing's permanent, right? Right. Love me, love me, love me, say you do. Look at us. We're just like everyone else. We've bought into the same ridiculous delusion. Let me fly. This idea that you have to settle down, or resign from life. With you. I want to feel things. Really feel them. Revolutionary Rose star Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet is based on a novel by Richard Yates about a young couple living in a Connecticut suburb during the 1950s as they struggle to come to terms with their personal problems while trying to raise two children. Not necessarily the type of film you want to see if your marriage is on the rocks. Revolutionary Road, yo. This was like the biggest man on woman, hard hitting, like, yeah. I want to fight you, but I love you. I'm stuck with you. Okay. You get, you get a fanboy president in the peanut gallery. That's, that's what you get. Fanboy president! Yes, 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 y'all. Yeah, what'd you think? This is a classic movie that lets you know why you can't leave her at home. She can't stay at home. She gotta get up and she gotta go you to work. You ain't down with it. She got to get She gotta get up, she gotta go to work. <laughs> she, she gotta have Cause you leave my home, they got too much, too much time to think, too much, you know. Why you keep saying they? Who are you talking about? Women! So you say you can have a woman who'll obey your every command, but you'd rather have a woman who has an opinion? Don't speak about women. it in the third person. I'm sorry. <laughs> they. Women, you can't leave. If you're married, men, if you get married, do not leave her at home. She can't stay at home. She has to get up go out and do something. See, I do you like my, my mom did me when I was a teenager. When I leave the house, you leaving with me. Yeah, everybody, every, everybody get up, out. Everybody gets up, everybody leave. Everybody leave and everybody gotta go do something. Oh man, it's that bad. She can't, she doesn't have to have a job if she don't have, if you got it like that. But you gotta get up and go somewhere. You can't just be at home thinking. Your wife need only have a pretty face, a firm backside, and big breasts like cassava melon. Thinking, that no cause thing is, that's, that's it, man. That's, that's a little, my, it's a little sexist. It's not sexist. If, if a man sits at home thinking, you're glad the same thing. But guys, you do have to remember, this is the mid-1950s. I mean, what's going on here? That's true. That's true. The American dream was to have the 2.3 kids, the picket fence, and the white well, stay-at-home wife. And the Cadillac. Man, true. And, the, but the, and they had all of this, but yet and still. They were unhappy. They were unhappy, as I would have been. I don't care if it is the 1950s. That... Yo, it's, it's so weird when you look back into American culture, how brainwashed everybody was. Like, people are brainwashed now. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah, but they were openly that. brainwashed then. Like, and they know that they was brainwashed. Yet they still, and then everybody around them know that they was brainwashed. But let's just buy into let's it. Let's do it anyway. I think he was doing it because he thought that's what you're supposed to do. That is true. And his wife was a selfish trick. I'm sorry. Kate Winslet, you did a great job and acting. The, while the character like, was they selfish. Were like, the, the, them as a couple, they were looked at as like the model couple. Like on the, I guess it was just on the outside, because on the inside, when you, I guess nobody else saw them at home or alone with what happened. But they was like the model couple to everybody in the neighborhood. It was like, damn, I want to be like the wheels. They was cheating. They were arguing. They Almost were fighting each other. Having home abortions. Out of $12, what would you give it? Uh, Revolutionary Road, I actually watched it twice um, because I like the relationship aspect of it and not that it was you no know, love story it was like i'm unhappy you're unhappy we're unhappy together let's go at it let's make up to go at it again so i, I like the dynamic there i gave it uh nine dollars for this um a solid nine dollars too though so go check it out definitely check it out i'll give it nine dollars too my only uh i give it nine dollars you know uh, everything you said yeah my only thing is and this is not a, a, a bad part of the movie but when they would argue and be laughing, I mean, fighting at each other, and then like the next day, like she'd be down in the kitchen like, hi, how would you like your ex this morning? I ain't getting on with none of them eggs. I would not eat that food. I would put, I would put that's that on what, my plate. That's what, that's good, what man. couples I, I, call internalizing anger. Bump that, I'm good, I, I, I eat my room. I'm Sean Cruz, the movie lover, and this is? Lavaro, so necessary.
And don't forget Fanboy President! So that's our show. Shout out to Chanel Gabriel. Happy New Year. 08 was great. 09 is mine. Let's do it, y'all.